Hi, my name is Malcolm and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist here at The Pig Lab. Welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. In this video, I'll be going through a past year examination question on the topic of plant cycle. I've also prepared this question for you to download for free by clicking a link in the description box below. So, let's get started. Question 10. The diagram below shows the arrangement of leaves from the top view of a plant. Which of the following best explains why the leaves of the plant are arranged in this way? Now before we answer this question, let's recall, what is the function of the leaves? The leaves help to trap sunlight for what process? Yes, for photosynthesis so that the plant is able to make food. Since the leaves of the plant are arranged in this way, there must be some benefit or advantage for the plant to trap sunlight. The question here is, what is the advantage? Now to answer that question, let's just say that the plant in this diagram is called plant A, and we have another plant, which I'm going to label as plant B, with the leaves that are arranged in a different manner. So, instead of having the leaves all nicely spread out, like what we see for plant A, this time for plant B, we can see that the leaves are going to be stacked one on top of another. So, let's write down the difference in the arrangement of the leaves. So, for plant A, we can see that the leaves, do they overlap a lot with one another? No. So, let's write that down. The leaves do not overlap much with one another. Now, what about the leaves of plant B? The leaves of plant B are the opposite, right? We can see that the leaves of plant B are overlapping with each other. So, let's write that down. The leaves overlap with each other. Now comparing between plant A and plant B, which plant do you think would be able to trap more sunlight? Yes, it would be plant A because when you see that the leaves are more spread out, there will be a larger surface area that is in contact with the sunlight. So because of that, we know that the leaves are able to trap more sunlight. And remember, sunlight is needed for what process? Yes, it's needed for photosynthesis in order for the plant to make more food. However, if you look at the leaves for plant B, do you think all the leaves are able to receive sunlight? No, only which leaf will be able to receive sunlight? Yes, it will be the leaf on top. So it is very clear that between plant A and B, the leaves of plant A can receive more sunlight. And that is the benefit of arranging the leaves as seen in plant A. So with that understanding, we are ready to look at the question. Now let's look at option one. Option one says that the leaves are able to climb up on other plants for support. Now. Do the leaves of the plant provide support? No, instead, which part of the plant helps to provide support? It is the stem. So because of that, can option one be the answer? No, so let's cross out option one. Next, let's look at option two. Option two says that the leaves are able to provide more shade for other living things. Now, is that true? That is actually true, right? When the leaves are more spread out, as seen in plant A, it does provide more shade for other living things. But is that the main reason why the leaves are arranged in this way? No, the leaves are arranged in this way so that you can trap more sunlight for photosynthesis so that the plant can make more food. So because of that, can option two be the answer? No, so let's cross out option two. Now let's look at option three. 
The leaves are able to trap as much sunlight as possible to make more food. Ah, can this be the answer? Yes, that's what we said earlier, right? So option 3 is correct. But let's check option 4 to be safe. Now they say that the leaves are able to absorb as much water as possible to make more food. Now, do the leaves help to absorb water for the plant? No, that is the function of which part? Yes, this is the function of the roots. So because of that, can option 4 be the answer? No, option 4 is wrong. Therefore, the only possible answer would be option 3. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to check out more videos by us, do click on the links on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!